Dorian is officially a Category 1 hurricane, and Puerto Rico is bracing for impact. Heavy rains could cause flooding and mudslides across the island. Puerto Rico is already struggling to recover after Hurricane Maria two years ago. CBS News weather producer David Parkinson has been tracking the storm's path. What do we know, David? Yeah, we got big updates here. So now Category 1 hurricane, also landfall right here in the U.S. Virgin Islands. That is the eye of your storm. That is an eye wall there uh, making landfall not only in St. Thomas, but also towards St. John, then back towards the BVIs as well. You can see the back side of the eye making its way through Culebra right there. Uh, that's Vieques right there. And all of these bands will start to sort of push back towards Puerto Rico. But notice, if the storm is here, that means it cannot possibly, it's not going to take a due west track, it cannot possibly make landfall in Puerto Rico. That means Puerto Rico has dodged the bullet of what is now Hurricane Dorian. Uh, but as we take a look at the satellite on this system, you can see there are some puffs that are starting to billow up there. The storm is getting stronger. It is getting better organized. It is continuing to move to the northwest at 13 miles an hour while it is over the U.S. Virgin Islands. And again, there's going to be plenty of rain headed to uh, Puerto Rico, but they are not going to be dealing uh, with the worst of the storm. So where is this storm going to be going? Well, uh, once it makes its way past, I actually think the intensity is low here because it's got it as a Category 1 over the next 12 to 24 hours. It's already a Category 1. And then you can see up to a 2 by Saturday, a 3 by Sunday, and then a 3 by Monday as it makes landfall somewhere along the coast of Florida, potentially all the way up to Georgia. Right now, it's the center of the state on up that we're focusing on in particular. But let's give you a little bit about the conditions, right? Here's why I think this storm is going to strengthen and strengthen quicker than is currently projected. Right now, you've got a little bit of shear. But then once you get past this area, it's fair fairly clear. We split the difference, the shear clears, and then it's right through this path that you're actually dealing with a fairly clear area with warm water and nothing really to stop it, right? So here are the mountains that you've got in Puerto Rico. We've dodged that bullet, right? We've gone as basically clear as we can go over the warm water. That's what's going to strengthen this storm. So a high pressure system will block it down to the south. The question is, does it bank just slightly around the high or does it come straight in? Here are your forecast models. Here's the interesting thing. We already know we can discount a bunch of them because here's all of these right where the storm is. And then here's a bunch of them that have initialized wrong. They're already too far west. They were taking it over Puerto Rico. So we can discount those. A lot of these that had sort of a southern more projection, right? So let's go ahead and erase those, reshow you our spaghetti plots. And you can see we're fairly confident now in a landfall somewhere in Florida, most likely from the space coast up to the first coast and then potentially into the low country there. Does it make the curve? Does it come straight in? Those questions. We'll have to answer over the next day or two, but right now a category one hurricane more likely to become a serious major hurricane than it was six hours ago and even three hours ago. We're going to continue to track this over the next couple days, but a serious situation as Puerto Rico dodges a bullet. Florida looks like it's going to take it. Incredible. A lot to watch over the next couple of hours. David Parkinson, thank you. Sure thing.